In this video, we will explain how to configure Edge properties on the CDN Pro portal to accelerate your applications. A property contains the configurations that will be deployed to the CDN Pro Edge servers. It includes the host names to be accelerated, the information about the origins from where content will be fetched, HTTP request and response modification rules, caching policy and so on. Let's get started by creating a new property. Let's assume your application uses a CDN domain called myapp.property.digital to load contents from two different origins based on the value of the request header X origin. Origin 1 serves general contents and has a special directory with sensitive data that you want to bypass caching completely. Origin 2 contains static image files. You will need to modify the requesting URI by adding an extra root folder slash images to access the static image files. To set up the property for the application, log into your CDN Pro Portal account and select Edge Configurations, Properties. Click Create Property. Add a new origin, Origin 1. Next, click Advanced Settings. Select both HTTP and HTTPS protocols. Enter a host header to contact the origin if the value is different than the client request's hostname. You can also select whether the Edge server should connect to the origin directly through a parent server or allow CDN Pro to automatically decide for you based on performance and resource availability. Save the origin configuration. Let's add a second origin called Origin 2. Next, use Edge Logic to write configuration code to control how you want CDN Pro to deliver your content. Edge Logic allows you to configure complex CDN behaviors using CD Network's Enhanced Engine X directives and variables. For more information, refer to the CDN Pro Edge Logic documentation. When configuring a new property, you can use the Edge Logic wizard to create the initial version of Edge Logic code in cache settings. Select an origin. Enter a cache time for the default cache setting. In general, CDN Pro honors the origin cache time based on the cache control and expires headers. The time you enter here is used when the origin headers are not present. You can ignore the origin headers to enforce the cache time with this checkbox. Using the wizard, you can also set cache behaviors for multiple locations. For example, you can set up your sensitive data folder here in Origin 1 to bypass caching for all contents in the folder. Let's leave the cache time field empty for now. We will show how to add the Edge Logic code to bypass caching for this folder in the following session. Click OK to save. In the Edge Logic editor, you can see the baseline configuration that the wizard just generated. Under the hood, Edge Logic is part of the server block generated for Nginx. All HTTP requests for the property's hostname will be handled by the server block. The server block follows the behaviors you defined in the Edge Logic. At the default location in the Edge Logic code, you pass the general request to Origin 1, then use the IF directive in the Engine X rewrite module to check the value of the request header. If the X Origin request header has a value of Origin 2, send the request to Origin 2 and use the rewrite directive to modify the back to Origin request path by adding the slash images folder for the static files. By the way, if you want to get help on any directive, place the cursor on it and type Control 1. In the Edge Logic code, you can also send a customized request header field to each origin with the origin set header directive and add a response header field to your client using the add header directive. For the sensitive data stored in origin 1, use the proxy cache bypass and proxy no cache directives to completely avoid caching. After completing the Edge Logic configuration for the property, associate the TLS certificate with the CDN property domain. Select TLS versions. For security purposes, keep the portal default to redirect all HTTP requests to HTTPS. Now let's look at the advanced setting for the property. By default, CDN Pro uses the request host header in the cache key. You can override the default with a different host name. CDN Pro supports HTTP 2 as the protocol between Edge servers and your clients. You can disable it if needed. Now we are done with the property configurations. Let's save validate and deploy the configuration to the staging servers. 
As a best practice, it's important to test your configuration in a staging environment before deploying to production. You can query staging qtlcdn.com to get all the CDN Pro staging IP addresses. You can pick anyone to use with the curl commands resolve option for this exercise. Let's first try to request an object from origin one. Previously, we used the header XMSG2 client to identify the response origin. The response header confirms the content is from the origin one. You can also use a curl command with a request header X origin to test and get an image file from origin two. The static file logo to PNG is returned properly from origin two. Finally, request a file from the sensitive data folder in origin one. CDN Pro received the response from origin one and bypassed caching the content as indicated by the cache status. That's it. For details on how to configure CDN Pro for your site, visit docs.cdnetworks.com. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.